You do not have to repent of your sins in order to be saved. That is a works-based righteousness which completely ignores everything Jesus did at the cross cloaked under the title of repent. So where are we getting this theology from? It's because there are two Greek words for repent, only we have one English translation, repent. However, only one of those Greek words can save you, and that is metaneo. Now, metaneo is the repentance of unbelief. It's going from, I do not believe Jesus has forgiven me by grace, to, I believe Jesus has forgiven me by grace. At that exact moment, you are crucified on the cross with Jesus, buried in the tomb with Jesus, and then fully united with him as a brand new creation. You're not who you once were. And then you have metanoia. Metanoia is changing of actions and attitudes, and there were even unbelievers doing that in the Gospels. That does not save. All right, uh, so I need to understand uh, where you're coming from with this one, because uh, if you're referring to metaneo in the sense of someone new coming to belief in Christ, I agree that that is what saves by believing on Christ alone through faith alone that he saved uh, by grace alone. Um, I agree. Now, if you're saying that once you become saved, there's no longer any need to repent of your sins then we have a problem. We have a problem with that because I think you're leaving out the aspect of sanctification. Now, when someone who is saved, when they repent of their sins daily, they're not, they're not approaching the prayer with the idea of uh, trying to obtain salvation once again. Uh, no Christian, no Christian that is truly a believer needs, needs to do that, and they know that. Uh, they know they don't need to continuously ask for salvation because they already received it. But when a Christian goes into their prayer closet and they ask to for forgiveness of their sins and they repent, uh, this is a process of sanctification. And I think that you need to allow for that because I think Scripture teaches that aspect of our walk in Christ. Now, there are two aspects of sanctification, positionally and experientially. Uh, positionally has to do with our position in Christ, that we are definitely set apart uh, unto Christ, unto God. And then you have experientially where we are synergistically working with Christ in our walk, in our salvation walk. In our salvation walk, I do believe that there is a must every night when you pray to repent and ask for forgiveness of our sins.